Hi, this is Nell Foster with Joyous Garden, and today I'm going to show you how to plant a potted herb garden. How wonderful it is to have herbs right at your doorstep so you can step outside your kitchen and get some, some herbs for cooking. I'm, I myself am not right outside my kitchen, but I am in my backyard on a very sunny day at the end of January. So I planted this Italian parsley, which is beautiful. It's, um, it's very ornamental too. This is, I've angled this out so slightly so it'll grow. This is, um, this well, was a little bit dry. I just watered it. It'll perk up. It's the columnar Greek basil. So it'll stay nice and, and <laughs> nice and tall and narrow. These are red onions, which really aren't herbs, but I'm just pretending they're chives. And then by the time they're gone, I'm going to plant stevia back here. Stevia is dormant right now. It's what you use to sweeten tea and all that. I love mint. I drink it with lemon and ginger and water every day, but there's something to consider when planting mint. I have three different kinds of mint in here. And because it is the end of January, it is semi deciduous now. In the season, it's all in the nice and full mint pot, but I can still pick some. Is, it, is that you wanna plant mint in a separate pot or you wanna contain it somehow? Cause mint spreads and mint takes over. So I just wanted to tell you that. I just wanted to show you my little herb garden over here. It's in a little bit of shade now because there's a hill over there, which that the sun goes behind in, in the winter time fairly early, but in the summer it gets a lot of sun, just so you can see how herbs grow if you plant them in a pot. And these are these have just been pruned back. I just pruned them a couple days ago to clean them up. The, this is Greek oregano, so it spreads, you can see. This is marjoram, sweet marjoram, which actually grows into a bush. This is winter savory, which I've greatly cut back. It also gets at least sun back here. This is French thyme which was out to here and these are chives which are deciduous they're dormant and now i'm going to show you how to plant a small herb garden lucy who works with me has just moved into a new apartment in san diego and i'm giving her this as a gift i actually painted this pot if you want to see how i did it you can watch the video on how to paint and decorate terracotta pots so this is going to make a nice gift for her because the pot is a little jazzy and the herbs are green. So it's going to make a nice combo. And what I wanted to show you is what I do with the drain hole is I simply put a piece of newspaper over it. It'll help the um, keep the soil from all draining out, all going out um, when you water it in because the soil is oftentimes very dry and it's not compacted yet. And I already have this half filled up with soil, so I just wanted to show you what. I do, and then the newspaper will just disintegrate over time and the soil is nice and tight. So what I've done is I use a good organic potting soil and that's good for um, herbs as potting soil because they like good drainage. I just happen to be using Gardener's Bloom at the moment. And then I always use worm compost. I love to plant with worm compost because if you have worms in your soil, it's a very good thing. It means the soil is enriched and it also means you're gonna have good drainage because that's what the worms do. They make nice drain holes. And see, there's a happy worm on this. So if you use that, your garden will be happy too. So I just sprinkle in a little bit of the worm compost because it's a little bit more concentrated. And this is sweet marjoram and it has a little bonus of thyme. It's planted right in here. And what you do is you just take it out of the pot Kind of squeeze it out pretty gently and herbs generally have a pretty good, good root system so i just kind of teasel them a bit it's a term and i'm going to put this back here because it's going to get pretty good size and she might have to take this out after a while because this one is a, a perennial but for now it'll be just fine and then this is italian parsley which is the same thing just take it out of the pot and parsley roots very deep which is <laughs> <laughs> kind of funny because look at this. This is not that big of a, of a root ball, but it's very tight. So I just kind of squeeze it off a bit. And I'm going to put that right in the front. This is, the, this is the front of the pot because it's so pretty. This is Nell Foster with Joyous Garden. And I've just told you how to pot up an herb garden. <laughs>